Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm Rebecca if you're new around here and welcome to my channel. So in today's video I thought we'd do a little chatty sit down video all about what have I read so far in 2021. So it's the end of June so we're halfway, we're almost halfway through the year which is absolutely crazy. The time is just flying don't know where this year has gone since last year in lockdown i've really really found my love for reading and i've started to buy more books and collect more books i got a kindle for my birthday last year as well which i absolutely love to read on so yeah i love to read on both kindle and physical books which you'll soon find out in this video also recently I've really loved watching booktuber videos, booktubers on YouTube, one that I really love is Rachel which I will link her, um, her channel down below, she does really fun videos and it's just really opened and broadened my reading, reading really and just opens me up to look for new books. When I started this channel I did say that I wanted to bring like reading aspect to it so this is my first reading video reading slash a book video which i'm really excited to do so at the beginning of the year i set myself the challenge of reading 12 books in 2021 and we are halfway through the year as i said and i've already read nine books so i'm well on my way to hitting that goal and maybe going even further if i do hit that goal then i might extend it to 20 books which I think I will end up doing because I've got a couple of holidays coming up and I'm just going to... Reading is really relaxing and an escape for me so I just can't wait to go away and just have that time to be able to read and chill out. I also started the year documenting my reading in a reading diary and like how long it would take me to read a book I would write a little review at the end of it I also was doing that on my Instagram stories and then put some on my Instagram feed as well I will put my Instagram on the screen now for you if you're not following me already go check me out over there as well so I'm sort of moved now to just documenting it on Instagram I've got a story highlight on there for the books that I've read give a little bit of a re review and give each book a star rating out of five i've also been using goodreads which i love as well you can uh, put on there like you can update your progress of the books and it gives you like a percentage of how far you are in it which for a physical book i i like to know like how far i am into the book and that sort of thing you can also just browse through papers reviews and it's, as i said like booktube it's really opened me up to more books so i'm really excited to keep using that for the rest of the year so that's enough about me rambling on. Let's get with the video. If you do like it, please give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. So the first book I read of 2021 was on the Kindle. And it was This Time Next Year by Sophie Cousins. I apologise now if I say any author's names wrong. I'm rubbish at pronouncing. And I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars. It was a really lovely read to start the year off with. It was set around new year so that's why i felt like it was really appropriate to start the year off with the ending was a bit predictable that's why it didn't go up to um a five stars there'll be no spoilers in these reviews as well so don't worry about that i would really recommend it it had a really lovely writing style and i just wanted to keep reading i find that with a kindle it's so easy to read on the kindle and just want to keep going so the next book i read was normal people by sally rooney now I gave this book a 2.5, maybe pushing up to a 3 out of 5 stars because this book had such a hype, it had such a good good recommendations, people were really really raving about it so I had a really high expectation of this book but honestly once I started reading it I just did not connect to it and it was one of the first books in ages that I wouldn't recommend just because I could not get into the writing style as easy as other books that I've read. It was a nice short story, but the writing style and the storyline confused me a little bit. It kept jumping around between times and perspectives. And yeah, it just wasn't a favourite. It was been on my TBR list for a while, so I am glad that I read it. But it won't be one that I recommend or be... Rereading again in the future. 
So the next book that I read was Hard Pushed, A Midwife Story by Leah Hazard. And because this was a non-fiction book, I've decided from this year that I'm not going to be writing non-fiction books because purely it's it's a real life real life based on someone's on from someone's opinions and some from someone's life this was a really really good read it was so interesting when i was looking at careers i did consider being a midwife that was one of my one of my ideas but obviously i have not gone ahead with that career but so this was so so interesting to read and it really did open my eyes to just how tough midwife's work is the hours that they put in the work that they do is just incredible so i would definitely recommend this book to anyone that finds midwifery interesting and just wants to read more about it the writing style how it was written was really great as well each chapter was about a different patient if yeah patient patient mother and i just really liked it it was just a really interesting really great read the next book of 2021 I read was Small Great Things by Jodie Picou? Picou? Picoult? Oh, I'm sorry. But I rated this a four stars out of five because it was a very interesting read. I'd had this one, this book also had amazing reviews, so I just wanted to read it. It was on my TBR for a while. The topic that it's based on, I didn't think it was going to be my cup of tea, but I went into it with open eyes because... As I said, it's had amazing reviews, so I thought, why not see what it's all about? It is also very long as well, which put me off a little bit. But it was actually really good. It was really eye-opening to, sadly, a topic that still exists now. I'll put a um, photo of the blurb on screen now for you to have a look. But I just found myself wanting to read on and read more and find out what was going to happen. It was written in different perspectives, which I really love as well. I really like that writing style. And yeah, it was just, it was really good. In the end, I just wanted to keep on reading. The next book which I read, is, which is number five of the year, is by far the highlight of the year so far for me. And that is The Midnight Library by Matt Hagg. This book was a five star read and it was just one of the best books that I have read. Probably maybe in my life so far definitely in the last few years i just don't know what, what what it was about this book but it was just incredible as i said i usually put reviews on my stories but i actually wrote an instagram post about this one so i'm just going to read this out as a review because i did this wrote this shortly after i'd finished reading it i think it just sums up what I think of it. So I put, wow, 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 this book has to be one of the best books I've ever read. I quite can't quite put my finger on what was so amazing, but honestly, I just love this book. The storyline, the characters, the style of writing, the short chapters all made it such an easy, enjoyable read. Each page I read, I just wanted to keep reading. I could just not put it down. No spoilers, but the ending really made me think and reflect on my life as it is now especially with what we have all gone through in the past year i would 1000 percent recommend this book and can't wait to read others by matt that just sums it all up this will definitely be i've not reread many books before i don't think i've reread any but this will definitely be one that i would like to revisit maybe later on in the year or even next year again i read this really really quickly as i said the chapters are really short and yeah it was just really really good the i'll put the blurb on the screen now which i'll do for all the other books as well rather than reading them out but it would definitely be one that i recommend so if you haven't read the midnight library go and read it so after midnight library i wanted something that was completely different because i'm not sure what story would have lived up to that one that i read so the next one i read was an index once upon a time this was great to read about this iconic duo's life from britain's got talent to i'm a celebrity to saturday night takeaway since i can remember they've been on they've been on our screens and it was just really interesting to read about what they've got up to in their lives how they met and just all the different work that they've been through it was really easy to read and it was obviously written as a, like a conversation between Ant and Dick. I sometimes did get confused which which um, one was bold, one was italic, and it sometimes got confused who was who. But 
this was a really good read. I would definitely recommend reading this book if you love watching Ant and Deck on the telly. So the next book I read after Ant and Deck was Together by Julie Cohen. I, it was a physical book but I haven't actually got it with me anymore because I really was not a fan of this book. I've only rated it two stars so it has gone off to the charity shop. I just really didn't connect with the book at all. The storyline, the characters, the writing style, it was a real, real struggle to finish this book. And I've not really had a book like that before, or especially in a while. I'm not the sort of person that likes to not finish a book. So I persisted with it, hoping that it would get better. But by the end of it, I just wanted to finish it. It was also, the storyline really confused me because it was like written backwards, um, chronologically which was really confusing but yeah it wouldn't be one that I would recommend. The next one that I read after Together was Tales of the Haunted Mansion Volume 1. Now as a Disney fan this was really lovely to read. I gave it a three stars because there was just nothing special about it. It was a really nice easy read and it was really interesting bringing in aspects of the Haunted Mansion attraction into a story and little parts of it that are in the attraction and realise have meaning behind that were in the book um, were really interesting but as I said it, it wasn't a wow book. It was, it was an easy read. It was a really short one as well, less than 250 pages which was nice. And yeah, if you're a Disney fan that loves Haunted Mansion, I would definitely recommend this one to you. So the last book that I've read so far is on the Kindle again, and it is The Love Square by Laura Jane Williams. I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars. I really love this book. It was such a feel-good, easy read, chick flick girly, romantic comedy sort of book. It was just perfect, really. I really enjoyed the writing style reading on the kindle it was just so easy to read the chapters weren't all that really long and uh, which is i look for in a book i'm not a fan of long chapters yeah it was just a really easy read a lot of people have really really recommended her work and i'm definitely going to be looking at her other books as well there's a couple that are on my tbr list by halfway i just didn't want to put it down i just wanted to see where it was going to go so that would be a definite recommend as well so that is everything that i've read so far in 2021 let me see i'm going to try and, not that it's that many i'm going to try and pick them up this is all i've read obviously a couple on the kindle and the one that i've already sent to the charity shop i'm currently reading fighting for your life by lisa walder I only started yesterday or at the weekend and I'm already almost halfway through it. So that one is about a paramedic story which I would also consider being a paramedic as a career before and I love reading medical, non-fiction-y sort of real life books. So this one I got for Christmas and has been on my TBR for a while. The chapters are really short in it and each chapter is on a different paramedic story patient that they've come across it's all obviously her own opinions and her views and her experiences but yeah that's a, it's a really good one so far i was hoping that i will take it on holiday with me but i think that i will finish it before i go away but luckily as you can see peeking over there i've still got quite a few books on my shelf and on my kindle and on my tbr list so i'm never going to run out of something to read so I've just caught my camera, so you're probably in a different position to what you was just in a minute ago. But that is all I've read so far in 2021. As I said, I'm on my 10th book and we are just coming up to July. So I'm really, really proud of what I've read so far. The highlight so far has been The Midnight Library, which I gave five stars for. A few others I've given four stars, but this by far has been my favourite of 2021 so far. I feel like this has been really really rushed and chatty and I apologise for my first bookish reading sort of video but I've really enjoyed filming actually, I love talking about books, I've really found my love for reading recently in the last year. Have you enjoyed it? Let me know if you've read any of the books that I've read so far. What's your goal for the year? I'm going to say now on the on this video that my goal is going to be, I'm up in it, it's going to be 20 books now for 2021. Or maybe should we say 21 books for 2021? 
that would be that would be a challenge <laughs> thank you so much for watching if you made it this far i've really enjoyed bringing lots of different types of videos and talking about lots of different things on my channel i really just want to try lots of different videos and really just because i love a lot of things in life so i just want to bring them all to my channel being that disney or travel or lifestyle or in today's video reading and books so let me know if there's any other reading slash a bookish videos that you'd like me to do or just give it a thumbs up if you've liked it thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it and i'll see you again real soon